<laughs> Welcome back, guys, to uh, Heavy Rain, whatever part this is. We're playing this. Let's go, Shelby. And hopefully, I don't have to keep restarting the chapter all the time because I feel like I'm gonna mess up. Manfred. Manfred. Manfred, whatever. Anybody home? Nothing oh, he's much changed here. Hi there, Manfred. Is he blind? Who is it? Death? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Maybe it's just age. Scott? This is Scott. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Damn. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but... I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a she's a friend. An acquaintance. Um, oh, hello, We're not friends yet. Lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. Once. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I. I saw a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Okay. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Can I... No. I'm guessing we're gonna get that. Oh, man, a favor, would you, Scott? Tell them to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. There we go. Hello, oh, aren't we just nice? <laughs> what are we meant to do? Alright, Manfred, get out the scotch. Let's get drunk. As a skunk. Well, to old friends. Go up. There we go. Goddamn motion controls these days. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Yeah. Let's have a look. How does that fit? It's too big. It's not even folded. Could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Behind the counter. Behind the counter. I was just behind the counter. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, of course, this one. No, oh, that's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. This is probably not where you find magnifying glasses. Yeah, I, w I was just there. I was just there, you see. And wh what do you do, game? You restrict me. You say, no, it's not there, Jack. So, screw you. Oh, but look, it's there now. Scott Shelby, private investigator. You always need a magnifying glass when you're a private investigator. Thanks. Now well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. <coughs> no doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Now, thank you for that, Manfred. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it will help me out anyway. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say... Many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster. For a so song. I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. You keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes indeed. 
Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who never bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Nice, yeah, Manfred. Really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me That's two cool. minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. It's probably gonna be take take two hours for you. No offense, sir. You think the killer's been here? Eh. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Okay. Hmm. Why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen? Ugh. The killer's name might be in Matford's papers. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's gonna be disappointed. Probably. Wait, I had another thought. Yeah. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. What? Let's take a look. He's just an old geezer, Manfred. isn't he? Hello? You're what? Is he dead? Sir. What? Be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? What the? Hello? What? What? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh, man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Is there any... Wait, why? Oh, there's a window. Guy's fast. Guy's fast. Oh, dude. <laughs> I won't come in here. He ain't just killing children, now he's killing old men. I'm calling the police. Killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, the house. So what do we do? You just kill an old man. Just kill an old man. He said time is not what he has, and look at that—is run out. The front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Oh, crap. Okay, um... I don't remember what I've touched. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. Can I, like, scrape? Can I, can I like, freaking wipe his face? We touched that as well. No. All right, I'm just gonna go with anything that I can interact with. Where did we leave Prince? Here. I, I touch this. No, I touch this. Yeah. All right. Man, private eye detective work right here. The office window. Oh yeah. Might have left Prince there. Yeah, I did. Just a normal day, just a normal day, just a normal day. Quick. Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. Okay, uh, she touched the uh, thing. Where's the magnifying glass? We touched that. Alright, we touched the, all right, the phone. Alright, phone's good. We got, we got the magnifying glass. And we have... Uh, oh, there's a lot of stuff here, actually, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is intense. He just died though, like wow, that is ugh. Don't leave a trace. Okay. Yeah, magnifying glass. We didn't uh we need to get the thing Lauren touched as well. I think we should be okay. We've got this last glass, and then we just need to get the little ballerina figure that she had. Don't rush me, Lauren! Oh, bitch, where was the thing? That's it. We're done. No, we're not! No, 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 no. Hang tight. I'll just check one last time I haven't forgotten. Where's the thing, Lauren? 
<gasps> there is, there is, there is, there is, there is. There is. There's, yes, 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 yes. All right, now we're done. All right, let's let's fuck off now. I'm running out of time. Gotta move fast. Or maybe maybe there is something else. Uh, I didn't come down here. The handle. The handle's the last thing when we came in. Besides that, we're fine. So we just need to get the handle. Please will be here any second. Gotta get out now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Come on. We need to get out, though. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I, 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 I hope so. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Um, make sure she didn't touch that. <gasps> I left the phone. So, I left the phone. The victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. Oh, they tracked me down, didn't they? Went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. Just because I didn't, I didn't wipe the phone clean. I called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Damn it! Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. There by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Crap! Uh, well, no one's perfect. I'm clearly not. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, well, Scott Shelby. In trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Oh. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. So he's actually decent with us, but not with Norman. Want anything at the moment? <laughs> well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it, you, Scott. The, idea, the music's really loud right now. I can barely hear them. Sure. I left the freaking oh, phone. <laughs> I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. Your partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. Stop the car! I know Let me out. To do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Oh, no. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Yeah, I see. Stop the fucking car. What are you doing? What the f Lauren! Jesus Christ! I'll stop the car, but don't kill us. Well, really, really. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. <laughs> What's to do? I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Come on, Shelby. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up. With or without me. She's just standing there, really. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. Get that evil look in his face, then. God damn it, Lauren. Lauren! Freaking Lauren. Don't have a moment. I'm trying to help you, but I'm not going to touch on the shoulder because I know if I do. You know. 
miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I probably shouldn't do this, but I want to see what happens. You're my whore. And you're the only one for me.